On the outside, Harding College appears to be a beautifully situated tree-studded campus with just the right amount of buildings and grounds to be labeled scenic, and rightly so. But there's more to Harding than several buildings nestled amidst towering oak and maple trees in a picturesque setting. The distinct architecture of the administration building and the colorful hues of the lily pond lights at night have a deeper purpose than just providing a pleasant landscape. Like so many other things, it's what's on the inside of Harding that counts. And it's inside Harding that we find the true beauty of the 53-year-old college. Inside Harding, we find over 2,700 unified but diverse students from 47 states and 19 foreign countries searching for life and the proper goals in a warm Christian atmosphere. Inside Harding, we find young men and women maturing into well-rounded adults through wholesome classroom and extracurricular activities. We find personal involvement between students and teachers in projects and Christian service. Harding College has come to mean different things to different people, but it always involves the human element. Harding means students spending weekend and vacation time on campaigns for Christ somewhere in the United States and in foreign countries. Harding means students making or buying more than a thousand toys each year to make Christmas a happy event for orphans in homes across the nation. It means a record percentage of students donating blood for the Red Cross. It means learning a true love for country. It means students working in various service capacities, such as teaching and special education programs, learning how to care for the sick, working with trainable retarded children at Searcy Sunshine School, translating worship services into sign language for the deaf, helping young fatherless boys in the buddy program, assisting in church camps and summer programs, and collecting funds for numerous charities. In their service, the students reflect and perpetuate an attitude of the college, just as the college exists to serve the student. A Harding goal is to educate young people in accordance with truth, both academically and spiritually. Daily Bible classes and chapel periods provide the student with ample opportunities to reflect on the meaning of life and to develop character qualities parallel with Christian principles. Activities that promote spiritual growth have priority at Harding. Communicating the teachings of Christ has always been first, and a high percentage of graduates each year assume responsible positions in society and become missionaries, preachers, teachers, and church leaders. Harding's president, Dr. Clifton L. Gaines, administers the school policies. Inaugurated in 1965, he is now bringing to a close the final phase of the decade of development. The final structure to be erected in this development project will be the 3,500-seat George S. Benson Auditorium, named in honor of Harding's second president. Harding has 146 full-time faculty members, 58 of whom hold earned doctorates, 88 of whom hold a master's or higher. These faculty members realize the importance of personal contact between student and teacher, and most serve as sponsors for various clubs or are active in the numerous extracurricular activities that bring faculty and students even closer together. Student honors also serve as a gauge of Harding's desire to exist for the student. The numerous awards received annually bear witness to the quality of the students and the Harding family. In recent years, Harding students have ranked among the nation's top colleges and universities in debate, business team competition, economics programs, and honors in national academic fraternities. The Harding yearbook, The Petty Gene, recently received its 17th consecutive All-American rating from the Associated Collegiate Press. The student newspaper, The Bison, was also awarded the top All-American grade by the ACP, 
and won several first in the general excellence competition. The renowned Bells and Bows musical group made its seventh USO National Music Council sponsored tour for armed services last year. The a cappella chorus continues to fulfill growing demands by making two or three tours per year and cutting records of hymn favorites for broadcast on radio stations nationwide. The American Studies program is nationally recognized as a leader in developing citizenship. A select group of students tour the nation each year to develop insight into America's rich heritage and political processes. Campus lecturers for the program in the past have included notables such as Howard K. Smith, Moshe Dayan, Paul Harvey, and General William C. Westmoreland. Pre-medical students at Harding continue to score high in national medical school acceptance exams and gain admission to medical schools at a rate nearly double the national average. Stop, whoa, yes, wait a minute, Mr. Postman. Wait, 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 Mr. Postman. But not all is study. Special programs for student enjoyment are offered through the student association, the student government. Lyceums, social club activities, concerts, movies, drama productions, and all school functions provide a wholesome atmosphere of recreation and social development. This fall's Lyceum was a presentation of the popular singing duo Carpenters. Other groups who have performed to the Harding audience have been the Association, Kenny Rogers in the first edition, The Letterman, Ann Murray, Ray Stevens, and a host of others. The school's emphasis on involvement and participation is also evident in the continuous activities of the clubs and organizations. Students may join honor groups and pre-professional organizations, as well as social, service, and special interest clubs. Harding's intramural athletic program is considered second to none, encompassing involvement by more than 85% of the total male student body and 60% of the female. Through such activities and social interaction are born friendships that last a lifetime. Harding believes in educating the entire man. In intercollegiate athletics, Harding capped a banner year by winning the Arkansas Intercollegiate Conference All-Sports Championship. En route to the top of the league in overall competition, Bison teams won four conference championships in cross-country, swimming, bowling, and tennis. No other Arkansas school had ever won four titles in a single year. The cross-country team won its fifth straight AIC championship and continues its domination in that sport. The swimming team enjoyed its best season ever and took its first league title. The bowlers won their 11th conference title in 12 years and finished fourth in the nation after winning the NAIA in 1975. The tennis team avenged its one-point marginal loss of the 1975 title by decisively winning the 1976 crown. Individual Harding athletes indelibly wrote their names in record books with outstanding performances last year. Seven Bisons earned All-American recognition from the National Association of Intercollegiate Athletics in football, basketball, baseball, and bowling. A senior football player won the 1976 AIC Scholar Athlete Award with a 3.992 grade point average. Two former athletes were inducted into the NAIA Baseball and Track and Field Halls of Fame. One popular time that is anticipated by both old and new students is homecoming. The renewal of acquaintances and old classmates sets the name of the day, but the excitement lasts all weekend long. The bands, floats, and decorations of a parade bring life to a Saturday morning, and the spirit builds for an afternoon clash as the Bison football team thrills a crowd. The day is climaxed with a major theatrical musical production of the speech department, at a student talent night entitled Blackout. Another day that is looked forward to by students is Spring Sing. Composed entirely of student groups, the entertainers use a combination of original costumes, music, and choreography to present a delightful show encompassing a cast of more than 700 performers. Every fall for the last six years has brought a record to Harding. Now, more than 2,700 students pursue Bachelor of Art or Science or Master Degree programs in 60 fields of study. They may avail themselves of the new gymnasium facilities, the 140,000 volume library, the Modern Student Center, the Refurbished Nursing and Home Economics Center, 
the outstanding science laboratories, or any other of the college's 43 buildings on approximately 200 acres that comprise the Harding plant with over $53 million in assets. In these buildings are found the life of Harding College, students busy working and playing and worshiping their God. Concrete and mortar help put it together, but the active, service-oriented students make it tick. Inside these buildings, Harding's purpose is manifested, and inside Harding revolves the light of life, the hope for tomorrow, and the reason for today. Whether they go on to find fulfillment in education, business, medicine, the arts, preaching, or homemaking, they shall all be taught of God.